Hi, this is Blake. And this is Lucas. And we just finished reading The City of Ember. You are watching this on Mr. Dodaro's classroom. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Imagine if you were in a city and the lights were constantly flickering on and off. Well, you thought there was a way out but didn't know how to get there. Well, that was Lena and Dune in The City of Ember. The City of Ember was published in 2004. It is realistic fiction. It is really popular for our age because it is very interesting. Once the reader has started reading, they just can't stop. It is just so interesting and it just makes me wonder how they will get out. The City of Ember author has won five awards. This is the award of the City of Ember won. Child Magazine's Best Children Book. Kirkus Editor's Choice, Mark Twain Award, William Allen White Children's Book Award, and American Library Association Book. The City of Ember is about a city that was built underground to get away from the nuclear war. The city was underground for 200 years and nobody knew about the outside world. Two kids had a feeling there was a way out of the City of Ember. The whole book is based on them trying to find the outside world. We knew it was a book to read. The message was never know everything when something is happening and you don't know. The lesson that I learned from this book was that you some, sometimes you don't know when you when something is bad. <laughs> this story takes place in an underground city called the City of Ember. The town's only light is lanterns that aren't movable. The City of Ember's lights often go out for some time. The people in the City of Ember were usually very nice. Some of them were very suspicious, mean, or weird. My favorite character was Dune because of his passion and his work ethic. He always knew when something was off. Lena was my favorite character because she was humble and determined. They are the two people that attempt to escape the city of Ember, so it would only make sense if they were in the story. They are important because they were the only people that possibly knew the way out of Ember by following the clues from the mysterious box. This story starts off when a mayor is closing a box with directions in it, and he sets the box to open in 200 years. This box was passed from mayor to mayor until one of the mayors collapsed. Then the box was put in the closet. Click, click, then the box opened. Then a kid named Lena finds her sister chewing on the paper that was in the box. She knew that the paper was very special. There were a lot of challenges that Lena and Dune faced in the city of Ember. They got chased by the police and Lena's sister chewed up an important paper out. The city of Ember was a great book and we think you'd be interested in it. Did you know that there is another city of Ember called The People of Sparks? Which is actually the next book we are reading. Let us know if you want more book reviews by liking the video and subscribing. If you liked the book, make sure to check out the movie. Have a great rest of your your day overnight. Bye.